Okay, now it's time to discuss about the router cache. Okay, so basically, I will give you the practical example, but before that, let's have a skim through over that. So, Next.js has an in memory client side cache that is stores the React server component payload split by. Uh, before that, we are uh, showing. So, you we see the smooth navigation without page is not reloading. We see the smooth navigation. So why it is happening? It's happening. By default, it is prefaced true. They are caching the routes in between. They are caching the routes. So that's why we can navigate in between three pages smoothly. So there is no page load happening. Okay. So difference is tiny, but you can see the difference. Preface false okay i'm copying it we need in a bit out give it preface fault false false okay and i have created three pages in four preface false demo prepaid false okay and router cache prepaid false okay and go over here save it so i am giving prepaid false and telling him that you not need any cache in between so the so difference is very tiny you cannot understand uh, if you need to understand you you can do it by go to the network tab and throttling slow 4g you'll get faster navigation smooth navigation in between if you use preface true you do not provide it this is by default they are getting it so a uh, difference is very, very tiny you stop to differentiate but even though without page ro load you will get a smooth navigation in between in between the pages okay and here it is saying Next.js has an in-memory client side cache that stores the react server component payload spilled by individual route segment for the duration of the user session this is called a router cache the router cache works you can initial visit if you visit the initial a page b page and a page so it will happen router cache full page cache or dynamic render uh, it will it will be cached okay so it is tough to understand the uh, the difference is very tiny so but it is happening that is because as a user navigates between the routes next.js cache visited route segment and prefaces the routes the user is likely to navigate based on the link components in their viewport this result is an important navigation experience for the user instant backward forward navigation because visited routes are cached and fast navigation to the new routes because the preface and partial rendering no full page reloads between navigation you see no full page navigation no page reloads i mean it's not reloading the page so by slowing 4g you can try to understand what is happening but it's give a good user experience okay if you use preface true okay so actually that it is saying viewport uh, this result is an important impo improved navigation experience for the user instant backward forward navigation because visited routes are cached at first navigation to new routes because of the prefacing and partial rendering no full page reloads between navigations the react state and browser state are preserved <laughs> Okay, and duration the cache is stored in the browser temporary memory. Two factors determine how long the 
routed cache last session. The cache persists across navigation, however, it cleared on page refresh. Automatic invalidation period. The cache of layout and loading state is automatically invalidated after a specific time. So, default preface on our display no cached for a dynamic page 5 minutes and full page you can true or false. You can give it true or false. Okay, actually, it is happening, uh, it is giving the it is by default taking place. It is for the smooth operation, but to understand in between is a little bit tough because both is happening very smoothly and very quickly. So I hope that will make sense. Uh, you can see the code over here. Okay, thank you very much. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay connected. See